Have you ever been playing a set of course art and this happens? Hey guys, welcome to the channel Race X. So, Aceto Corsa. As Eto Corsa. Okay, today we're going to talk about why the thing that you saw at the start of the video happens a lot more compared to a game like Need for Speed or Burnout or Project Cars. So, Aceto Corsa is a simulation game. It's not an arcade game, which means it tries to replicate racing in real life and the activities involved, like refueling tire wear, damage, suspension, transmission, uh, left wing, right wing, height, ride height, a lot of stuff, a lot of other things that can affect you, uh, track, track uh, conditions. Um, now with arcade games you don't have that problem so if you're coming from a different game like Need for Speed you, you're gonna struggle playing this game for the first time. All right. Bastard! <laughs> So first things first, you cannot use a pad. Uh, this is the worst mistake. I've seen people using a pad. In fact, there is a YouTuber out there who reviewed this game and he used a pad, which is like the worst thing you can do. Um, imagine driving in real life with an analog stick. Your steering wouldn't be accurate and neither would your acceleration. So you will have to buy a steering wheel to play this game. I should mention, I currently use a Thrustmaster T150. Uh, I recommend it if you are on a low budget, but if you aren't, uh, there are better ones out there. I don't really play sim enough to justify buying a more expensive one. Lil Tay out here balling in the eye gate. I dropped 200 racks on this car. But um, you can do your own research on which, which one is the best, but I can say Thrustmaster is a good brand to start with. So one reason you might be struggling with this game is um, you're using too much throttle. Okay, You cannot press the gas or acceleration too hard when you're cornering, uh, especially when you're using a high powered car. And um, I, I let one of my friends play and he was saying, oh, this is fake because cars don't skid like that in real life. And, you know, and he drives a Prius in real life. So how the hell would he know? You know, these are cars that have over 400 brake horsepower. And in real life, you will lose traction when if you just put the acceleration down and you have your steering wheel angled. So you need to practice on keeping your gas pedal steady during a corner and then slowly using more gas as you exit the corner. And also this depends on your race setting as well. I mean, if you've got traction on or off as well, if you've got traction on, then obviously that's going to help your car stick to the road better, right? So that's one of the reasons why you might be spinning out. Yeah, too much acceleration during the corners. Even a, even a car with 200 uh, brake horsepower could spin out, uh, you know, forget about 400. Um, the Formula One cars do stick to the road a bit better, uh, a lot better actually than the other cars, but still it's, you know, it takes a lot of practice and concentration. Now, unlike arcade games where you can just hit the wall and continue driving, with sim you can't. You might be able to catch up to the pack, but if no one else has crashed, you've pretty much lost. With sim, you need to know your racing lines because you can't go off track. And I've noticed that when you're online though, the racing lines aren't exactly accurate. They're in the correct position, but the colors don't actually change. So if you braked too early, the red lines will, the red arrows will still stay where they were. They won't adjust to what's the best, to the best uh, setting for you. So yeah, the colors are always the same. But if you know your racing line, it means that you can come into the turn much better and sort of hit the apex point where you're supposed to and come out. Also, you need to know when to brake. For this one, I, I think the best, the best way to learn is to just play the AI. If you play the AI and start at the back of the pack. All you have to do is just follow them, see when they break, see when they turn and, and where they're positioning their cars. Um, that isn't obvious, I'm sure everyone does do that, but if you, if you just keep playing online, it, you might not learn as much as you would as playing uh, against AIs. Okay, so another thing is track knowledge. Uh, this is a problem I had. What happens is, it's not that you don't know the track, I mean you have a map there to help you. But even for a split second, if you take your eyes off the road and you look at the map, then you look back at the road and you're going 150 miles per hour, you've lost, you know, in that split second, you've lost maybe 10 meters, 9, 10 meters. And so therefore, you're less prepared 
for the corner that's coming up ahead if there is one and you might miss your breaking point and you'll go off track and I've to learn a track properly inside out like the back of your hand you have to do at least 70 80 laps I, I think so anyway for some people it might be less but you need to do a lot a lot of laps to, to improve your track knowledge because then this way you don't need to look at the map and you can give your full undivided attention to the road and not have to look at the map so if you're playing this game for the first time don't worry if you went off track on the first corner because most people actually will you need to know when to break and it's very different to arcade very very different because I used, I used to play a lot of arcade racing myself and then one day I played Gran Turismo and it was very very different but I still prefer Gran Turismo to a Cell Corsa but that's just my, my preference so another thing you might not have thought about is actually are you using the right car setup for the track that you're in because every car drives differently and every track is different as well um, now I'm not exactly an expert on this part um, but what you want to do is if you um, when you pause a game and you go to the pit uh, you go to your setup and you can see there's a lot of different things you can change right now a lot of this might be trial and error uh, but you've got general aero drivetrain suspension dampers electronics um, the good thing about this though is you can you can change your settings and you can also save it so next time you play you can load up that setting um, and obviously every car is going to be different so you might have to pick a setting that works for you now I can't go into depth with this but I believe there are forums online that you can uh, read where people have put up their settings there are sort of definitions or you know guidelines on the side that tell you what would happen if you change any values and different people have different views on this so but yeah the point I'm just trying to make is that these settings can affect you on the track um, I can't recommend any settings as I said but this is also another reason so sometimes you might be driving really really well and you but you're just struggling it could just be your settings so go into it have a look have a look at the descriptions on the side and just see if they help you if you change them okay oh and another good thing is you can also save it as well you can save the setting that you have so right on the first column setup if you look there's a load save delete reset setup so all you got to do is uh, do your setup to what you want and give it a name and just save it so yeah pretty basic video I guess the best thing you can do to get better at the game is play AIs that's probably the best advice I can give you just race AIs follow them start at the back of the pack you know AIs will always use the use the correct racing lines they'll always break at the correct time and you should get better at the game remember it's completely different to an arcade racing game okay so good luck guys so it's pretty basic guys basic reasons I'm sure most of you already knew some of this um, but again, not everyone does because, again, like I said, I saw a YouTuber play with a pad and that's a YouTuber, you know. So thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button, subscribe button and please do comment. Any feedback is appreciated. Do check out my other videos on other racing games and uh, I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.